Hey guys, welcome to Rutra Tech Tutorial and in this chapter of Angular 8 unit testing with Jasmine and Karma, we are going to look at debug element and DOM events. Objective of this video is to understand what is debug element and why to use it and how to trigger DOM events. Well, a debug element is an interface created to work safely across different platforms. Now using Angular, we can create an application not only for a desktop but also for mobiles or we can also create web workers so whenever we are performing our application unit testing we need to make sure that the elements that are getting returned are platform specific and debug elements provides us that utility to get the elements according to the current platform and creates debug element tree that wraps the native elements for the given platform instead of HTML element tree. Also, the debug element is associated with the root element of the component. That is, it comes with methods and properties that are useful for testing. And it comes with a specific property called native element property which returns us the platform specific object. So we are going to use this debug element to unit test our application. Now here is a simple application that I have created and in this one I have a component that will help me to test the events with the help of debug element. Now in this one I have two buttons one is for adding the clicks and other is for removing the clicks and it will display the number of clicks here. If I click on add clicks it will go on adding the click. If I click on remove clicks, it will go on removing the click. Now here is the HTML code for the output that we just saw. Now in this one, we have the add click button with ID btn add click and same way we have remove click. And this is the h1 tag where we will be showing our counts. Now in the add click method, I have just incremented this count clicks by one and in the remove click method, I have decremented conflicts by minus one. Now, in order to test our functionality, we have a event component dot spec .ts file. In this one, you can see I have already included debug element, which is part of Angular Core, and I have also included a predicate called by, which will help us to query the elements in the DOM using the CSS with the help of debug element now i'm going to create a variable or an object for the debug element so this debug element object will help us get or to access the methods and properties of the debug element then we are going to assign or instantiate this object now in order to instantiate the object of debug element we have to create de equal to now i'm not going to create new dot debug element in this one we can get the object of the debug element from the fixture so fixture dot debug element and it will construct a tree of html element which is wrapped within the debug element now in this test case i want to test the functionality of add clicks using this debug element and in order to do that we need to test whether the value updated in the h1 that is the value updated here after performing the add clicks is similar to the value of the variable of the component count clicks and in order to check the value of this h1 element we need to get the h1 element in our test spec so let's go and get that one so I'm going to add constant h1. This will hold the value or the object for our h1 element. And we, in order to get that h1 element, I'm going to use de de dot query, and I want to find the h1 element that is present within our DOM, that is our HTML document. So in this case, I'm going to use by CSS. I am going to search it using the H1. So the debug element will help us to query 
the certain element within the DOM using by this is the predicate that will help us to find out the h1 element and it will return us the h1 element and we can access all the properties of h1 element using this h1 object then the next step is to get the object of the button so i'm going to first btn equal to now in this case we are going to search the button using the specific id so hash btn add click will search for the given id of the button and return us the object of that particular dom element so here when i had created the button i had assigned an id to that button btn add click so using the same id we are going to search that button then the next step is to add the event or the trigger the event now in this case we want to check whether the button is clicked and once the button is clicked the value present within the h1 tag is similar to the value present in the count click variable of component so in this case first step is to execute the event now that can be done using button dot this execution of event can be performed on any of the DOM element using the trigger event handler method and it has two parameters first is the event that you want to execute so i'm going to execute the click event and second parameter is event object so i'm going to pass an empty event object in this case so the trigger event handler will trigger the event as if we have clicked the mouse on the button then once the event is executed we want to detect the changes in the h1 element so to detect the changes we have already seen fixture dot detect changes then i'm going to write the expect Now here I have added an expect to assert that component dot complex is equal to the text present within the h1 element. Now in this case, the complex is a number, whereas the inner text will be an. Hence I have passed that particular string to get a number using the parse int function present with the JavaScript. Now let's go and execute this. So I'm going to run the ng test. All our test cases have been executed. Now let's see it on the browser. Now here you can see should add clicks button is clicked. So this method is executed successfully and it also means that the count clicks variable is equal to the value of the h1 element in the drop. Now we have achieved this using the debug element and the trigger event handler so using the debug element we can access the elements within the html dom tree and we can trigger the events using the trigger event handler method of a particular element i hope you have liked this video if you do please provide us comment and do subscribe thank you